Hey, what's up YouTube? This will be a pretty quick video here. Um, this summer I had some cast iron skillets get wet and as you can see in this shot, some of them rusted quite a bit. So this is the process I went through uh, to, to rehab, to refinish them. And I actually did eight skillets total. The first five I just really tried to get my process pretty good and then made this video with the last three that I finished. I started off with 60 grit sandpaper. On this first pan, I was just really trying to get this old, nasty, burned stuff out of there and get back down to the metal. You'll see in a later clip here, I had to switch from this orbital sander, the circle one, um, to a square sander uh, just to try to get the edges a little bit better. But again, my, my objective in this first step was really just to get all the old seasoning off of there and get back down to the metal. Some of the pans just seemed a lot more porous. When I got, when I got that first layer of seasoning off, this last one in particular, you just see um, the pan just wasn't really cast very well. Um, it's, it's pretty bumpy there. Um, and this littlest pan, that's the one that ended up in the end being just the smoothest, almost smoothest glass when I was done with this. All right, if you wanted to, you could, um, right after you finish sanding off all that seasoning, you could simply put oil on them and re-season them. But uh, my goal in making this video and, and refinishing the pans here, um, if you take a look at really old cast iron skillets, you'll notice that the, the surface of the pans is really, really smooth. Um, when they used to do cast iron molds, uh, sand molds, they used to take the pans out of the mold and then give them a good polish to really make them smooth. But nowadays, most manufacturers simply take them out of the mold, um, the sand mold, and then put oil on them and season them. So you'll feel, if you scratch your thumbnail across the cooking surface on a new cast iron, it just isn't very smooth at all. Sanding with the 150 grit sandpaper here, um, I was really just trying to get rid of all the marks that I had put in with the angle grinder. Um, and also, in some of the pans, this one in particular, um, I could tell that the next layer down was um, not porous at all, so I was able to sand out almost all the bumps in this one. And the, the tiny minuscule ones that were left, they'll, they'll get filled up with seasoning and with grease and oil over time. So after a couple, after a couple years, this is going to be a really, really nice pan, I think. If you wanted to, you could do the sides also, but I really just focused on the cooking surface itself. This shot here just gives you a, a look at how many pieces of sandpaper I used along with that flap disc there. All right, then for seasoning the pans, um, grapeseed oil has a very high smoke point. Uh, it's a real good oil for using for seasoning the pans then. Um, here I used a, a rag, but I probably would recommend a, just a paper towel. Um, put a tiny bit of oil down and then smear it around and then Use a, a dry paper towel, go back over it and try to get as much of that off as you can. Um, if, if you put it down too thick, it ends up bubbling a little bit, which I found out the hard way. I did some pants face down also. I read that's a good method. Um, I preferred the flexibility of being able to open up the grill and check on them. And if it seemed like most of the oil in the pan had already hardened on there, and there were still a few tacky little drops on, I was able to take an oiled paper towel and wipe those around before they hardened on there. And then these are all the skillets that I did in preparation for this video. Um, the top one on the right there, I think I got to do another coat, a few coats of seasoning. And the, the two biggest pans there, they were too big for my grill. So I'll leave you with a shot here of um, seasoning them over the campfire. If you have any questions, please post them down below. And if this video was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.